Hello and welcome to Paws Channel. Our video today is about a Siberian Husky fighting a pit bull over dominance and paying the price. Dogs, like many other social animals, have a hierarchical social structure. This hierarchy helps maintain order within a group and can reduce conflicts in the long run. When dogs fight for dominance, it's typically a manifestation of their natural instincts and behaviors. Here are a few reasons why this might occur. In the wild, dogs are pack animals, and packs have a clear social structure with a dominant leader. This behavior has carried over into domestication, even though dogs now live in human households. Dogs use various behaviors to establish their place in the hierarchy. This can include body language, vocalizations, and even physical altercations. Through these interactions, dogs can determine who holds the higher rank. Dogs might fight over valuable resources like food, toys, or territory. The dominant dog may try to assert control over these resources. Dogs can be territorial, especially in environments they consider their home territory. If they perceive a threat to their territory or personal space, they may resort to aggression to establish dominance. In situations where there are intact male and female dogs, competition for mates can lead to dominance-related aggression. In a household where there is ambiguity in leadership, dogs might vie for the role of alpha. This can result in inter-dog conflicts. Dogs that have not been properly socialized from a young age may struggle to understand and respect the social cues of other dogs, leading to dominance-related conflicts. In some cases, a dog might resort to aggression as a way to cope with fear or insecurity. This can be a misguided attempt to establish control in a situation where they feel threatened. It's important to note that not all conflicts between dogs are related to dominance. Misunderstandings, fear, resource guarding, or other factors can also lead to aggression. If you're experiencing issues with dogs fighting in your household, it's essential to consult a professional dog trainer or a veterinarian with expertise in behavior. They can provide specific advice and strategies to help manage and mitigate these conflicts. These two dogs walk towards each other in dominant way to start off with, and the fight over dominance was inevitable. Both Huskies and Pits are lovely dog breeds and are loved by many for their own characteristics. However, in a direct physical confrontation, the Pit Bull will always have an advantage and edge over Huskies due to its strong jaw muscles, the reason that they were bred for and their bite force. However, it's important to note that individual dogs vary and factors like training, genetics and temperament play a significant role in a dog's behavior and abilities. It's also crucial to remember that breed does not determine a dog's behavior or suitability as a pet. Each dog is an individual and their behavior is influenced by a combination of genetics, socialization, training and environment. Responsible ownership including proper training and socialization, is key to having a well-adjusted and safe pet, regardless of breed. The good thing is the Husky submitted very quickly without putting up much of a fight with the pit bull, and it ended up well for both dogs. Both of them walked away with no injuries. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share.